the very first day of creation, the first explicit thing that is created is light. So this tells us obviously that light is a intrinsic and foundational part of the creation, but also that it is obviously a bridge between the physical and the spiritual. And when we look at the different incidences of light and stories or events that light takes place, we detect a mysterious aspect about light. There is a paradoxical nature of light in the teachings in the Torah, and especially how the sages and the Kabbalists treat light. And there are many, many ideas about this. One that we'll mention is that we're told that in the, this light that was created on the first day of creation, we're told that it shone for 36 hours, and then it was taken away. And it leads us with the question, was this a physical light or was this a spiritual light? When Moshe, Moses, comes down from Mount Sinai, it says that his face was illuminating light. It was beaming light. So much so that the people couldn't even look at him. And he hides his face. Because the people were scared. So here again, we see light revealed and taken away. There's another midrash. Again, we have to understand this symbolically, that when a baby is in the mother's womb, an angel comes and teaches him or her the whole Torah, and there's a candle burning. And at the moment of birth, the angel touches the baby right here on the lips, and they forget everything. So the question is, why teach the baby the whole Torah and have this light and then take it away? And there are scores of other examples of light being revealed and hidden. In my book, The Mystical Nature of Light, I try to connect all these ideas with what modern science says about light. And we find an absolutely amazing thing. In other words, the Torah and the sages allude and hint to that there's something very mysterious and paradoxical about light. And we see it in what physics has revealed to us about light. The greatest paradox of light, and maybe one of the greatest paradoxes of science today, is that light is both a wave and a particle. And these ideas are virtually self uh, are, are exclusive they're paradoxical how can light sometimes manifest as a particle and sometimes as a wave but it's more than this after this discovery they found that all of matter exhibits the same paradox that all of matter within the atom is emanating sometimes as a wave, and sometimes as a particle. And also in the famous equation, e equals mc squared, which is the, the linchpin of all of physics today, light, which is the c squared, is the constant, is the, is the foundation on which all understanding of the universe is based on. And there's a further paradox of the relationship between time and light. When something travels at close to the speed of light, time slows down to theoretically, if something traveled at the speed of light, no time would pass at all. And this is a profound thought that mystifies scientists. How can it be at the speed of light that no time passes? So these ideas I expound at great length in, in this book. But to put it together, we see that what the sages felt and intuited about light, modern science is revealing is 
the actual nature of light, which actually explains the entire paradoxical nature of the universe that we live in.